Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlobs.net. Just pulling up my latest uh, report here. Um, I just wanted to introduce, uh, I've, I've introduced this, this video last night called Introducing Big Ass Report for Algo Crypto uh, Currency Trading. And um, I've now promised I'll be including the automated head and shoulder and inverted automated head and shoulder and I've done that so I'm going to show you that in a minute if you want to know more about the head and shoulders going to my YouTube channel do a search on the YouTube channel you'll find lots of um, descriptions on how this pretty well works in detail because um, I, I go over it okay so next bet is to talk about the actual report now. So I'm not going to go into uh, the the actual report itself. I'll just show you the section on the head and shoulder. So again, if you want more details, just follow this video, uh, Introducing Big Ass Report for Algo Cryptocurrency Trading. So next thing uh, I've included here is there's only one cryptocurrency uh, that's available that is listed. But if you do a head and shoulder search uh, in the document, if there is a head and shoulder, it will um, include it. So this is what it will look like. It's uh, kind of trying to do it in a weird way. Um, this is technically not a real head and shoulder, but just an example of the outline with your neck. The green dot means the expected price on the peak of this first head and then this tiny one but to be honest that's not a fair uh, assessment so I'm probably gonna fix this to make sure that the head uh, the shoulders are symmetrical to each other so anyways the green dot is the expected price movement or the price target based upon the neckline here and the peak of that shoulder on the neck and that or the other shoulder and the blue dot is, if you were to short it, that would represent the um, downside, the expected move. But as you can see here, it's completely off base uh, because it's way below the target of the neckline. So if you wanted, you could, and this was a valid head and shoulder, you could um, theoretically let the price right up to this neckline and once it reaches that neckline then you could use that as a regression line or a trend line to enter in but theoretically if you have a better formation of a head and shoulder you'd be able to use the, the green dot for your lungs um, as a target as well outside of the other ones that I talked about with the trend and Fibonacci levels as well specifically this chart so um, it kind of does work, but I just want to show you the basic mechanics of it because um, these don't happen a lot. And the um, head and shoulder or the inverted head shoulder is even more rare. So uh, this has been run against over 300 pairs, uh, cryptocurrency pairs. So that is to show you how rare these things are. But I just wanted to let you know we found one. And even though it's not really a valid one, but just to explain it. On how it works. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Hopefully, I'll be out. Talk to you later. Bye.